Bunny. I promise this will be a quick video. I just needed you guys' opinion on something. I'm sorry for the extra tacky background. This is normally where I film, but I can't put any sunscreen on right now, and I'll explain why in two seconds. So standing out in the direct sunlight today would just be like the stupidest move ever, and I hope I'm not already sunburned. Sunburned. Because it literally takes about two seconds for the sun to just scorch my flesh. Okay, so I'm sure you all know by now that Betsy Johnson is tragically going out of business, and I do have a haul for you guys, but I was waiting for this dress to come in the mail to me as part of the haul, and then I got it, and now I'm making a separate video because I don't know if I want to keep it or not. Everything else I bought, I got in store, but this piece they were unable to get shipped to my home store. That maybe doesn't make any sense. I don't know, we always called it the home store, kind of like I'm an alien, it's my home planet. It's my home store. They were unable to get this dress in the home store for me because the only place that had it was Soho in New York and they refused to send it to us for some reason. I don't even understand. I had to pay a lot. Wow. That was so embarrassing. I'm glad I have on shorts underneath this dress. I had to pay a lot more for this dress than I did any of the other pieces. The whole situation really sucks. Basically all the merchandise was bought out by another liquidation company and so the sale that I thought I would be able to get, I wasn't able to get and the whole thing just kind of really sucked. So now on to this dress. I did have to get it online but I really really loved the pictures of it. It's called the it's, it's either called Feed Me Cake Dress or the Feed Them Cake Dress. Her whole last collection was basically a play on Marie Antoinette stuff, and I've always loved Marie Antoinette stuff a long, long time, ever since I started reading Alexander Dumas when I was a kid, and then I got into the whole Three Musketeers thing, and then it translated into something else. Then I was obsessed with like the French Revolution and then I got into Napoleon and so I don't know it really appealed to me in kind of like a historical sense and a lot of the detailing really appealed to me and I almost even thought that I could get away with getting it and using it for a Halloween costume. I don't even know what I was thinking. It's also kind of a piece that I feel I could really wear casually. I would kind of really consider this a casual piece. It was under the category of graduation on her website. She usually used to like categorize things by like, oh, you can wear this for Mother's Day or you can wear this to graduation, yada, yada, yada. Basically, the bottom line is, is since the company is going under, you only have 10 days to return things now instead of 30. So if you see the tags sticking out of my back, all classy like, it's because I'm making this video to ask you guys opinion to see if you guys think I should keep this dress or not. I'm not really sure if it's that great with my coloring. Maybe I need to go get a spray tan before I wear this. I don't know if it just like washes me out or what. I just chose to wear Max Snob lipstick because I kind of thought maybe I would keep it really kind of like a whole demure thing, but not really completely washed out. I don't really know if I succeeded with this. Then I just threw my hair up in this great fashion and the wind has really just had its way with my hair. Like I said, I was really attracted to it because I, I was attracted to it. That sounds strange. You know, I was kind of iffy about this teardrop cutout, or I guess it's like more of a diamond maybe. No, it's kind of like an upside down teardrop. It's like if somebody was crying upside down. It's like a vampire tear, you know? That makes no sense. Vampires sleep in coffins. Okay, first imagine that a vampire transformed into a bat and then that vampire needed to cry. This is like an upside down vampire tear. Reasons that I don't know if I'm gonna keep it is because I don't have anywhere solidly to wear it, I guess. I don't really have anything firmly planned on wearing, wearing with it. And then the other thing is, is I think I'd have to go shoe shopping, which sounds insane for me, but I really cannot think of one shoe. When I got it in the mail yesterday and I took it out of the bag, I was just like, what is one shoe that I own that I can wear with this? I really have none. I don't even know. And I don't even know, like, I'd probably be enticed to try and find some kind of, like, little boot or something from the antique mall. And maybe I could get away, but that's more like 1800s, turn of the century style, so that doesn't really go and most of my Jeffrey Campbell shoes as I'm sure you guys know they're black and I don't really feel like I can wear black 
with all the cream and the pink and the peach detailing. I really don't feel like that would go. I'm gonna try and just like walk out that way for you guys. I'm gonna try and like walk on my tippy tippy toes. Tippy tippy toes! I'm kind of like walking like in crooked tippy toes too. I'm like, eh, can you see it? I'm a drunk giraffe. Don't judge me, I am as barefoot as Shelby right now, for real. I guess I'll just get a couple more like frames so you guys can try and like see the dress. You know, I don't really feel like y'all are getting too much of the skirt, but the skirt really just falls plain. There are a couple pleats, but I don't really feel like that's that big of a deal. I kind of always feel like most Betsy Johnson dresses, all the focus is on the bodice, and then the skirt is just kind of usually very plain. Lace detail. There are the little tassels I was talking about. As always, I really value you guys' opinions, so just let me know down below in comments if you think I should keep it or if you think I should return it. Help me make a life decision. As usual, please take a minute to subscribe. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, at graveyardgirl, same as it is here, and I will see you guys later. Bye!